Well, good early morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with your morning dew. Happy April Fools and happy Easter to everyone today. Hope you're having a splendid weekend with your friends and family. And of course, having a few jokes, pulling some pranks with your friends and family on April Fools. No jokes today, folks. These are our skies the other day. Just wanted to share them with you. Look at that jet stream right across the moon. But yeah, they've been really, really busy recently, and I've been catching it almost daily. And just a couple views here I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for joining me today. This has been Mike, Meteo Mike, and I'm gonna going to give you your weather outlook and also a, an update on all the earthquakes from around the world. So overlooking North America right now, we've still got nor'easter after nor'easter developing throughout the United States and ripping up the eastern seaboard. Calgary getting some snow over the next few days, nothing serious, maybe five centimeters. But, you know, watching these systems head across the eastern seaboard, they are getting vicious time after time and heading straight into the North Pole there. But watch this area here over the next three to four days as that system develops and you're going to see some very intense thunderstorms and possibly some tornado warnings throughout the region. So stay aware and prepared. Overlooking Europe now and still got some pretty large lows. Time after time, just like the east coast of North America, we've got the west coast of the United Kingdom and Europe just getting battered heat wave in India and uh, tropical storm Jellawat has now been downgraded will be dissipating over the next 12 hours heading east and watching all these systems just rotate around that high pressure ridge very strong polar vortex still hanging out two weeks after winter is done. And now we're looking at uh, some pretty sizable tropical cyclones as well. One unnamed heading towards Queensland. And also we've got tropical storm Josie on the right. This is the unnamed, just showing the next five days, a lot of rain. And then Josie over uh, Fiji, islands heading down towards New Zealand. Those are the only two tropical storms that I'm watching over the coming days and looks like Africa still drying out. Not helping there. We need rain down there folks. And uh, hell of a lot of rain in South America day after day daily evaporation my oh my a lot of moisture falling around the world mostly the northern hemisphere is where we have a lot of flood alerts landslide alerts and yeah some snow some pretty nasty temperatures nothing above zero for the next five days well, isn't that lovely? We're two weeks into spring. Oh, wait, here. Calgary, where I am. That's right. Doesn't reach above minus five. Oh, well, went down to minus three. But folks, stay aware and prepared. It is cold in our northern hemisphere. And I want to thank you all for joining me today and watching as I share my weather research with you. This is the five day forecast from around the world. And now we're just gonna have a quick look at earthquakes from around the world. And not too busy over the last 12 hours, but we did have some 5.3 in Zahab, Iran. It was at 10 kilometer depth. And just earlier we had the 5.0 in Afghanistan. 
5.1, 5.1, the Tonga region, 5.0 in the Solomon Islands, Tobito, Indonesia. So this is the last 12 hours for earthquakes, not very busy at all, actually. But I'm gonna show you here the last seven days, and it has not been busy. It was busier earlier in the week when we had the 6.6 and the lots of aftershocks in Papua New Guinea. Most notable is those European and also the 5.6 in Argentina at a 555 kilometer depth, but also is those European earthquakes. There was one in Italy, but yeah, Papua New Guinea, Japan, Indonesia, Tonga region has been very, very active. I'm just going to show you, this is the most recent earthquake, 5.3 in Iran, but I also wanted to show you guys here. This day last year, 2017, April 1st. Okay, so this is 6.1. These are all the earthquakes that were happening at this time last year. The 7.7 in Russia, 6.2 in Alaska there, 6.9 Indonesia. We had we were much busier for earthquakes last year at this time. But if you watch that video that I just uploaded, we've got some incoming wind streams, so stay aware and prepared. Earthquakes coming.